everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this absolutely beautiful eyelet shawl and how to make this very pretty border to go alongside. All the details for my shawl on the table here, including the written pattern, are down in the description box below. So make sure you click show more to find that info there. All right, let's jump straight on into the tutorial. To begin, we're going to start with a magic ring. If you don't like using the magic ring, you can substitute this out for chaining five and then joining with a slip stitch to your very first chain to create a ring that way. But I personally like the magic ring and from my magic ring, I'm going to chain three, which counts as my first double crochet stitch. Now into the magic ring, place six double crochet stitches. Once you have your six double crochet stitches and your chain three, you can go ahead and tighten up the magic ring if you're using one. For row two, we start by chaining five. Now that chain five counts as a double crochet and a chain two. Then turn your work. Now into that very same stitch where you just chained from, Place a double crochet stitch. Chain two. Skip two stitches and into the third, we're going to place a double crochet. Chain four. And another double crochet back into that same stitch. Chain two. Skip two stitches and into the top of your turning chain, so that chain three, one, two, here on the end, we're going to place a double crochet. To fight a little to get into that with this cotton. Chain two and place another double crochet back into the top of that turning chain. For row three we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet and turn. Now place a double crochet into that exact same stitch where you just chained from. Place two double crochets into this chain two space. That's one. And that's two. Then place a double crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch from the row below. And again, two double crochet stitches into this chain two space. Double crochet into the top of the double crochet from the row below. And then we are at the chain four space right at the very top. This is what will form the spine, the central spine of your shawl. And into this chain four space, we're going to work two double crochet stitches. Chain two and two more double crochet stitches back into that same space. So 
So we have come up the side, we formed the central spine, and now we have to work back down the other side. So double crochet into the double crochet stitch. It's immediately after your chain four space, so you can't miss it. Two double crochet into the chain two space next to that. Double crochet into the top of this double crochet here on the end. And two double crochet into this chain space right at the very end here. Now this space at the end is your turning chain from the row below and we're going to work into the third chain so identify at one two three and into this third chain so the top of the turning chain we're going to end with two double crochets into that stitch again sometimes it's quite hard to work into so feel free to use your nail if that helps i find it definitely helps me that's one and that's two For round four, round four is the eyelet round. So we're going to start with a chain five, which counts as a double crochet and a chain two space. Turn your work and double crochet into that exact same stitch. Chain two. Skip two stitches and double crochet into the next. We're going to work this all the way up the side, so chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. One, two, we're skipped, double crochet into that third one. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. This brings you up to the chain two space from the round below, so the central part of the spine. So we're going to chain two, and into this chain two space, we're going to work a double crochet, chain four, double crochet back into that chain two space, And then chain two. Now we're going to work back down this edge. So double crochet into the very next double crochet stitch. Chain two. Skip two stitches, double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. Once we reach the end, you'll have two stitches and your turning chain from the row below. So chain two and into the top of your turning chain. So we're skipping the two stitches. We're going to work double crochet, chain two, double crochet all into the top of that turning chain. For the rest of the shawl, we're simply going to be repeating rows three, which is a solid row, and row four, which is the eyelet row. I'll do a quick recap of both rows for you now. So for the solid row, we chain three, turn your work and double crochet into the same stitch that you just chained from. Then on the side, we're going to put two double crochets into the chain two spaces. 
and one double crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch from the row below. I'm going to work this all the way up, two double crochet in the chain two space, followed by a double crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch. One, two, into the chain two space, double crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch. Work that all the way up the side. When you get to the top, you'll hit your chain four space right in the middle. And into that chain four space, you're going to place two double crochet stitches, chain two, and two more double crochets all into that same chain four space. So that's two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet back into the same chain four space. Then working back down the other side, the same as on the way up, double crochet into the double crochet stitch from the row below and two double crochets into the chain two spaces. Once you reach this end chain five space, pop two double crochets into the space itself. And then end with two double crochets into the third chain of that chain five. So for your solid row, you will always start with a chain three and double crochet into the same stitch. Then on the sides, you'll place two double crochets into the chain two spaces and one double crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch from the row below. In the central chain four space, you will work two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Come back down on the sides, working your sets of two into the chain two spaces and one into the top of the eyelet row from the row below and then you'll end with two double crochets worked into the top of the turning chain. Every time you create a solid row you're going to follow with an eyelet row. So the eyelet row always starts with chain five which counts as a double crochet and a chain two. Turn your work and double crochet into that exact same stitch where you just chained from. Then working up the sides, you will chain two, skip two stitches and double crochet into the next. Work that all the way up the side of your shawl. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. Once you reach the chain two space at the top, you will chain two, work double crochet, chain four, double crochet into the chain two space.
and then chain two. Coming back down the side of your shawl, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip two, double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet all the way down the side. And once you reach the last few stitches, chain two, skip two and work double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the top of your turning chain. So into the third chain of the chain three. So for your eyelet rows, you will always start with a chain five and double crochet into the same stitch. Then working up the side, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. You work that all the way up the side. And then when you get to the central section here, you will chain two, double crochet, chain four, double crochet into the chain two space, then chain two. Then it's a case of working back down the side, double crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip two. Come all the way back down and you'll end with double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the top of your turning chain. Repeat this solid row followed by the eyelet row, so rows three and four. Repeat them for as big as you want your shawl to be. Once your shawl is big enough and you want to work this pretty border, make sure you end on an eyelet row. Then for your border, chain three and turn. Now into the chain two space, we're going to work two double crochet, A chain three pico. So to do that, you chain one, two, three, and then slip stitch into the double crochet you just made by picking up the front loop and that vertical bar. And then work three double crochet back into that chain two space. single crochet into the next chain two space and then into the space after that work three double crochet a chain three pico And three double crochet back into that same chain two space. Secure that down with a single crochet in the next chain two space. Repeat this all the way up the side of your shawl. Three double crochet, chain three pico three double crochet, then secure it down with a single crochet. Little crown section in the next chain two space, three double crochet, chain three pico, three double crochet, single crochet in the next, all the way up until you hit the chain four space.
Once you hit this chain four space in the middle, you're going to work exactly the same thing right into here. Three double crochet, chain three picot, three double crochet. Then secure it with a single crochet into the very next chain two space. It's how you come around that sort of corner at the top and then work the same all the way down to your little pico section in the next chain two space and secure it down with a single crochet in the next. Come all the way back down. Once you reach this very last chain space, work your final little shell crown, I'm not sure what to call them, pico section, right into this very last space. And once you've finished your final stitch, chain one, snip your yarn leaving a decent length to weave in, pull that loop through and out, pull it tight and then you are ready to weave in these two ends. If you enjoyed this tutorial please do drop this video a thumbs up and if you liked making this one fairly certain you'll enjoy this one too. So until next time Happy crocheting!